Hey guys, Brett here, and long time no see. So I previously promised a video explaining CAP or the Civil Air Patrol. And here we are. <clears throat> Roll film. CAP is an Air Force Auxiliary and Cadet program. You'll be given a proper uniform and have the privilege to learn and perform traditional military training, such as marching, exercise. As a member, you can even fly planes. You'll also be given the opportunity to perform meaningful acts of volunteer service, from food drives to... Uh, it's for a good cause. Sir, would you like... No? Okay. We accept cans! Ow! ...to search and rescue operations. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty great program. If you want to know more about it, you can always Google Civil Air Patrol. Uh, I've given you a sales pitch, so you, you should be pretty interested. You should you should be Googling it right now. You should pause the video and check out Civil Air Patrol. Actually, don't do that now. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Among all of those academic perks that they give you, you also get to meet a ton of really cool, interesting people. You also get to meet uh, uh, just really interesting people. Okay, story time. So I remember this one meeting. It was a PT night, which meant that all of us had to complete the physical training test. So everyone had to do sit-ups, push-ups, a bunch of stretches, the shuttle run, and a mile run. I was probably around 14 at the time, so this was a while ago. Now I remember this one kid, we'll call him Horton. Now Horton was, um, kinda dumb. Not, not the sharpest tool in the shed. So on this PT night, he came in and made rounds with everyone there, subtly complaining how, I should, I should have had those burritos, man. Should have had those burritos before I came here, man. So many burritos. Now his goal, in case you can't tell, was to try and get out of doing most or all of the PT. So he complained all night long about his widow tummy. So we finish our stretching. Guys, my tub tub is, it ain't feel so good. Nobody cares. We do sit-ups. Oh boy, those, those burritos, man, those burritos. Shut up. We complete the push-ups. Oh, oh uh, God, the beans, man, had beans in it. Oh my God. Now the time came for us to start the mile run. So we line up and our flight sergeant starts explaining how the mile run is going to work. And Horton is at the end of the line doing his best to look like he's going to explode. It'll be a four lap run. On the fourth lap, you give me your last name. So our sergeant finishes and just before he says, go, Horton raises his hand. Yes, Horton. Sir, c can I pee first? I'm not a sir cadet, I am a sarge- Sergeant, boy got to pee, boy, man got to pee. Fine, everyone take a quick potty break. So Horton, and only Horton, runs up to the tree line next to our mile track, because we didn't have a porta potty back then, and everyone waits in anticipation for this kid to finish. Ah, snake! It's a snake! Horton comes running out of the tree line with his pants at half-mast, yelling like a maniac. Now, very few people actually laughed. The majority of us just moaned out of aggravation because we were all familiar with this kid's shenanigans. The snake almost bit my Tinkerbell off. Shut up and line up. So everybody got back in line, Horton got his pants fixed, and go. off we went. I can still remember how my mile run went that day. Lap one. Okay, all about confidence. Lap two. I'm actually close to the front runners. Lap three. Oh yeah, I'm crushing it. Lap four. Ah, oh, Horton. The man did it, he followed through. We were all wrong about Horton. The boy actually threw up at the end of the track. And that's it, that's the end of the story. Haha, ha, very, yep, thanks for watching. Remember to uh, uh, subscribe, like, and share. Um, I'll, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.